Hi, I'm Salvation. I was asked if this build could do Uber at Siri on a 5 link and I was curious to see how that would work out, so I gave it a shot. For this whole run you are about to see, I took out the control destruction playing with the 5 link. I thought it may also be a good opportunity to talk a bit about the whole fight and give some tips. It is really important to get high chaos resist. You can see that I'm getting hit pretty hard by the Chaos Spitters, considering I have kept Chaos Resist with a series promise. If you encounter a big pack of them with otherworldly bloodline mod, be really careful. Those packs do hit really hard indeed. I would recommend stacking up the Vortex behind a corner and then whirl in with all flasks popped. I think the Quartz Flask really helps a lot with the dodge chance, chance and the phasing. Due to death doors, we don't have to care much at all about the bleed snakes. The oversouls are really easy, even on a 5 link. Stack up blades, put down the totem and kill the first. Will over to the second one, put down the totem. When the second one comes up from the ground again, it should be nearly dead already, only taking a, taking a second to finish the job. The trio can take a little more practice and skill. I think doing it with a Val Discipline and Concentrated Effect could also work out pretty well. You enter the room and stack up blades to 20, put down the totem a little to the right and then pop all flasks to bring down the titty bitch fast. If you don't use a Val Discipline you should try to dodge the rain that she may cast. It hits hard and even if it does not kill you it might bring you down together with a hit from one of the other guys. After you killed her, whirl out of the black cloud that starts appearing on the ground. Try to bring down the dual striker now. He's the guy that starts to burn from time to time. Be careful with the spawning tentacle miscreations. They can deal lots of damage and if you don't bring down the bosses fast enough, they might be able to kill you. Just like that. If you die, don't panic, set up your auras and curses again, vendor some of the loot and go back in. Remember to stack up the blades in front of the door as you will break the grace period if you try to do it inside. The cyclone guy is the easiest to kill in my opinion. During that fight the miscreations deal more damage than he does. Try to position yourself in a way that you hit the adds and the boss or stand behind a pillar so that the miscreations can't hit you from outside of your range. Now we are already on our way to the queen herself. If in doubt, put a portal in front of the door. I highly recommend using concentrated effect for this fight. Not only does it deal loads more damage, it also prevents hitting the mirror on accident while dodging. As with the trio you can enter the room and stack up blades. When you got 20 stacks running, place a totem and whirl at her. Dodge her flame blast with your movement skills. You don't need to stick to her all the time. Your poison is doing lots of the work and will push her to the split phase. Stack up blades while you wait for the split. The best spot to wait is right between two of the clones so you have a short way if one of them turns out to be the mirror. Put up your totem right before the phase really starts and close to the clone you plan to attack. Remember to not hit the mirror. In this video it is the one in the bottom in the first two phases. Sadly I did not stick to my own advice and did not wait in the middle so I had a longer way to attack the clone and lost some blades doing so. If you die don't panic. Remember to turn on all auras and buffs back on. Stack the blades in front of the door. You can see that you don't need to stick. Just hit her good as long as you can then will out and let the dot finish the job.
If you encounter a healing phase, you can choose if you want to run around in circles with concentrated effect or do a jump switch to increase AoE. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did feel free to like and subscribe.